this example, we're interested in finding the area between the curves y equals 12 minus x squared and y equals x squared minus 6. So that's this area here. So in order to um, set up our integral, we're going to need to know what the x bounds are. Um, in this case, that will involve finding where these two curves intersect. So we'll see that that's often going to be a first step in finding the area between two curves, is figuring out what those um, bounds are going to be by finding your intersection points. So we'll set 12 minus x squared equal to x squared minus 6. That means I've got 18 is equal to 2x squared, or x squared equals 9. So we'll have x is plus or minus 3 as our two different bounds here. So again, I can think about what I'm doing when I'm finding this area. I'm slicing this up into lots of different pieces here. I notice that my top curve over the whole interval is this red curve, and the bottom curve over the whole interval is this blue curve. So I can sketch a little representative rectangle here to help me set up what my integral is going to look like. I have a width delta x here, and it looks like the height of my rectangle would be this red curve, um, which should be the 12 minus x squared. That's the parabola that's opening um, downward versus upward, minus this blue curve here, which is x squared minus 6. Okay. Um, so it looks like our area will be an integral from negative 3 to 3 of 12 minus x squared minus x squared minus 6 dx. So we have an integral from negative 3 to 3. This will be 18 minus 2x dx. Okay, now I know I could go ahead and do the antiderivative of each of these two terms and then evaluate it from negative 3 to 3, but we can actually um, make use of a little bit of symmetry here to simplify the next step. We notice that this region is symmetric about the y-axis, okay? And that's a property that functions that are even have. Notice that both of these functions here are even. If you want to recall what an even function is, f is even, and even means um, symmetric about the y-axis if f of negative x is equal to f of x. And that's the case that we have here. If I plug in negative x for x squared, um, negative x squared will also equal x squared. In this case, when f is even, we have that the integral from negative a to a of f of x dx would be equal to twice the integral from 0 to a of f of x dx. So we can simplify some of the arithmetic we're going to have to do here by um, recognizing that this integral from negative 3 to 3 of this nice even function here will be twice the integral from 0 to 3 of 18 minus 2x squared dx. And then I have 2 times my antiderivative here, 18x minus 2x cubed over 3 evaluated from 0 to 3. So we'll have 2 times 18 times 3 minus 2 thirds times 27, that's what 3 cubed would be, minus 0. And when we simplify that, we get that our area is equal to 72. So I'll conclude that over here.